Hello, and welcome back to the Berkeley at Home Variety Show. I'm Patrick Holmes. We created this show to help us all stay connected while we're physically apart, and I hope that in our own small way, we've been able to do just that. Over the past few months, we've kept you up to date with the Peregrine Falcons. Falcons are my absolute favorite. As any parent will tell you, raising kids isn't always sunshine and roses. Sometimes there's vomit. Sometimes there's poop. And you've got to find the beauty in these very natural parts of biological development. Got tips for staying fit. 997. 998. And eating healthy. Edamame just warmed up with a little bit of garlic as a snack. Delicious. Celebrated Blockly Commencement. Listen to some great performances. Won't leave the house till COVID's gone. Believe me. Hail to California, alma mater dear. Sing the joyful chorus, sound it far and near. And had some important conversations in our effort to uplift Black voices. And then I finally felt where I was at a point where I was comfortable speaking up about how I was feeling. Um, and offering my take uh, on the situation. As we move into the fall semester, we'll be looking for new ways to continue this work. As such, this will be our last episode, at least for a while. Did someone say reunion show? I want to thank you for watching over the last few months, and I hope you enjoyed this final episode. <laughs> We're going to start by taking you back to this fall when the California Golden Bears faced off against the Stanford Cardinals in the 122nd big game. Barbers trying to get away. Tries to run! He got to get there! He's got it! He's the five! He's into the end zone! Touchdown Bears! What a bonanza! We asked members of the University of California Rally Committee what it was like to win back the Axe for the first time in a decade. Hi, my name is Megan Weiner. Well, I'm Aiden. Well, I'm Conrad. Reminiscing about the big game brings back such positive memories. The week beforehand was a pretty miserable game against USC. We were just kind of happy to be there. We didn't really think we were going to win. It's a day that I will remember forever. It was so exciting. And going into the game, it was very interesting. This great sense of anticipation. It was such a nail biter because Stanford would score and then Cal would score. The game itself was very, very intense. It was very close. And the score didn't look too promising for a win. We were losing. There's only two minutes left. I didn't think we could make it back. At the end, it looked like Stanford was going to win. And then the score changed. Uh, we were able to pull out the final drive at the end and managed to clinch victory out of the jaws of the feet. The Cal student section was absolutely deafening. There were thousands and thousands of fans running straight for us. The Axe is back after 10 years. And I remember there with my friends in the stands just screaming so loud and so amazing and fun. The biggest, happiest party of a bunch of complete strangers that you could ever imagine. And that was such, such a great day to be a Cal fan and to be such a big part of that moment. And it was something that I will treasure and remember forever. It was an amazing experience, and I don't know if anything is going to replicate the feeling I had when I was on the field there in Stanford. It was a magical moment, and one that I will never, ever forget. As more faculty, staff, and students come back to campus, it will become increasingly important that everyone adhere to public health directives, as illustrated by this campaign that you'll find on Instagram and the campus coronavirus site. Many of the various statues on campus are getting in on the action as well. The masks were sewn by my colleague, Gene Smith, who we featured here last week. Throughout this year, we've been celebrating 150 years of women at UC Berkeley. Each day until August 18th, Berkeley News is hosting a series of Q&As featuring 18 unsung heroines on staff from all corners of the campus. 
The series will culminate on August 18th with a special campus conversation with four remarkable female staffers. For many of us, the pandemic has shifted the way that we do our work. Our very own Department of Visitor and Parent Services has found new ways to reach admitted and prospective students and other campus visitors, offering campus tours in a virtual setting. This shift is allowing prospective families and visiting scholars from across the globe, and even members of our own community, the opportunity to learn what makes Berkeley the number one public university in the world. General virtual visits are being offered in English, Spanish, and Chinese, and there's an engineering-specific tour as well. The team is also hosting live student panels and producing blog posts and videos. You're invited to step into the shoes of a prospective student and fall in love with Berkeley all over again by joining the Campus Ambassadors online. Staffer Melanie King is a senior developer by day and avid bird watcher by night. She sent in a compilation of photos and sounds of birds that you'll find here in the East Bay. See how many you can identify and then check the answer sheet linked down below. I'll leave you with that video, but before we go, I want to thank you again for watching and thank everyone who contributed to this show. A special thanks to Sarah Day, Mike Durda, LaDon Duval, Will Kane, and Douglas McSkimming for helping make this wacky idea of mine a reality.